Hello, what's up friends? Welcome to lesson number 42, the two-step time management. Number one is identify what is important. Number two is choose the blue chip activities. And there are two areas in blue chips activities. One is planning and number two is focus and awareness. So let's start with let's start with identify what is important. Let me relate to you the story of the empty Time management expert gave a talk on the same subject to a group of business administration students. To drive home to a point, he stood in front of a class of high achievers and said, okay, it's time for a quiz. He, he produced a He placed a gallon-sized, wide-mouthed jar on his front table, produced a dozen of fist-sized rocks, and carefully placed them, one at a time, into the jar. When the jar was filled to the top, and no more rocks would fit inside he asked the class is the jar full everyone in the class said yes the jar is full really are you sure the speaker replied then he reached under the table and pulled out a bucket of gravel. He dumped some of the gravel into the jar and shook it to let the gravel work its way down in the spaces between the big rocks. Then he asked the group once more. Is the jar full? This time the class was on him. Probably not, one of them answered. Good, he replied. He reached under the table again and placed a good amount of sand into the jar and it filled the spaces left between the big rocks and the gravel. Then he asked the same question again. Is the jar full? Everyone shouted no. Good, he replied. Then he grabbed a pitcher of water and poured it in to the jar until the jar could no longer hold anymore. Then he looked up the class and asked, What do you think is the point in this demonstration? One eager student raised his hand and said, The point is, no matter how full your schedule is, if you try really hard, you can always fit or put some more things into it. Wrong, the speaker replied. That's not the point. What is exhibited in front of the class points out that if you don't put the big rocks first, you'll never get them in at all. What are the big rocks? What are the big rocks or goals in your life? 
how much important is it to you and when do you want to accomplish it no matter what it is you must put emphasis and focus on your most significant goals and purpose in life just make sure that everything is in balance remember to put these goals in your priorities or you will never be able to get them in all in your life put first things first number two is choose the blue chips activities some activities bring us satisfaction or take us closer to our goals and objectives others are simply overheads things that have to get done but do not contribute much to our to our progress one of the most powerful time management skills is the ability to identify the difference between satisfaction and overhead to evaluate the activities of our lives we can we can put them we can put our activities into blue chip, uh, into chip categories as follows number one is the blue chips these are high payoffs that can lead you directly to your priorities number two red chips these are important activities that contribute to the accomplishment of your goals that could be done by someone else and number three white chips these are activities that consume time and will have little payoff these time robbers may seem urgent but they have little to do with your priorities and should be eliminated should be eliminated from your daily routine the biggest loss of effectiveness can be derived from focusing not on our priorities instead of choosing the right activities and choosing the right activities and behavior that will have the biggest return we are we are creatures of habit and and frequently do what lies in front of us or the white chips in rather than look for the blue chip activities to identify uh, here is a simple formula in identifying your priorities blue chips do it red chips delegate it then white chips ignore it the two areas of blue chips activities number one is planning the difference the difference between average players and high achievers is the time they spend on a highly productive activities or the blue chips the primary tool for blue chips activities is to have a to-do list to have a to-do list prioritize the task and follow the plan while urgent situations require a may require 
while urgent situations may require a change of plan may occur it must be uh, it should be an exception rather than a rule number two focus on awareness frequently ask yourself will this blue chip activity help me realize my objectives when others say that they practice blue chips activities everyone understands that their commitment focus and ability must not to be distracted by lesser important tasks to help you to help remind yourself of the importance of this concept you may need to carry a blue chip card with you or place it on your desk where you can see it all the time at the end of each day review your activities did you spend enough time on blue chips activities? Did you ignore the time robbing white chips? Have you used your time effectively by delegating the red chips to others? Many time robbing activities are simply bad habits. Your white or uh, your blue chips activities will help you break unproductive habits which will 